Hey what's going on guys Tanmay of the Lusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial under JavaScript for beginners and in this video tutorial we're going to be taking a look at another type of animation using simple javascript and in this case we are going to be performing scaling animation so in the previous couple of videos we've seen the timing function and in the last video of this javascript playlist we also saw the fade in and fade out animation effect using simple javascript so this is sort of like the part 2 on animations and we are going to be doing scaling as i mentioned Okay so let's get started as you can see on the screen i have a simple heart image which we are going to be scaling up and scaling down so it will be creating effect of heartbeat or heartbeat pumping so i think that will look pretty cool once we get with the coding so in the coding part right now what we have is our basic html body we have two breaks so that the heart comes a little bit down and then i have a simple image which is having a id of img1 and i'm loading this image from the images folder and the image name is heart.png you can load any image you can download it from the internet so this is that image in the folder and this is our default.html file so i'm loading it from the images folder okay so i've given it a basic width of 100 and in the javascript we still have to write down the entire code of zooming in or scaling in and scaling out okay so this is something that we are going to be doing and we are going to be needing the timing functions that is the set interval and clear interval so if you have missed that video in this playlist go check that out because that is important okay so let's get started with the coding and what i'm going to do is in this case, I'm not going to be having any button to scale in and scale out. We're going to be using the mouse on over event and mouse on out. Okay. So on mouse over and on mouse event. So we've seen this events in the previous tutorials also. So basically this event is called whenever our mouse pointer comes in on the image and whenever you remove this mouse pointer from the image, the mouse on out event is called. Okay. So just to check this, you can add two alerts. So I can say alert. I can say on mouse over copy this and here also i can see on mouse out so this is just popping out alert messages to check the on mouse over and on mouse events so if i come and hover it on over you can see on mouse over called if i say okay on mouse out called because i moved out from the heart right so once you go outside from this image the on mouse out is also called okay so this means this is working so right now what I'm calling is increase function and decrease function which we have to create in the JavaScript. So let's get started with that. So let's start off with increase function. So in increase we are going to be performing scaling obviously. That is we will perform scaling in. So let's do that. So I'm going to say function increase. Inside this we are going to be calling the set interval method. So I'm going to say set interval. Set interval method requires two parameters the first one is a reference to a function and the second one is the interval time in milliseconds so i'm going to say zoom in and i'm going to say 20 milliseconds okay so this zoom in is another function which we have to create inside which we will have the code of the increasing of the width so we're going to be changing the width at every iteration so this is the idea over here so let's create this zoom in function also so i'm going to say function zoom in now here what we have to do is we have to check the width of the image okay so initially as you can see we have set the width value as 100 and this is something that we are setting to the image also but this line of code is not being executed because this has to happen on some event right so if you comment it out it won't have any effect on the code actually i just wrote it because this is something that we are going to be using in the code so now what we are going to be doing is we know that when we have initially loaded it we know that the width is 100 because we have explicitly set it over here you can change it from here also and the image will increase but right now let's keep it 100 pixels so in the zoom in function what we have to do is we have to check for this width value so we're going to say if width is less than 200 we have to say width is equal to width plus difference so this difference is another variable and the value is 2 so what we are going to be doing is every time zoom in function is going to be called after 20 milliseconds the width value is going to be increasing by 2 units that is 2 pixels and initially the width value is 100 right so after first iteration the width will be 100 plus difference which is 2 102 then again zoom in will be called after 20 milliseconds it will be checked so 102 is less than 200 so again 2 will be added into that value right and then we also have to use this document dot get element by id to set the new width right so this is something that we will do over here and once it reaches the 200 mark that is once the width of the image reaches 200 we want to clear this interval also because otherwise this set interval will keep on calling zoom in after every 20 milliseconds so something has to stop it so this is where the interval id comes into picture so i'm going to create one more variable interval id set it to zero initially 
and this set interval will return the interval id of the timer which is set inbuilt which schedules this zoom in after every 20 milliseconds so in order to stop that timer we have to use this interval id in the else part of the zoom in function and we have to say clear interval and pass the interval id so this is something that we've seen in the timing functions that is clear interval and set interval functions so let's see if this works right now what we are calling is on mouse over we are calling the increase function so this increase function has only one line of code which sets the timer for 20 milliseconds and it calls in zoom in after every 20 milliseconds and in the zoom in function what we are doing is we are checking the width if it is less than 200 we are increasing it by 2 units or 2 pixels we are setting that new width to the image by using the document.getElementById.style.width property and once it reaches 200 we are clearing the interval so we will stop the timer from calling the zoom in function so let's see let's try to hover on the image and there you go you can see it got increased right so it was 100 initially it became 200 now if you want to check for this value you can use the console.log again so i'm going to say console.log inside i'm going to pass this width coming on the browser hit f12 and you can see the console being loaded over here now if you hover on the image you can see the console values go till 200 right and we got an un uncaught exception because we still have to define the on mouse out event so we have not created the decrease function yet right so that's why this error was coming otherwise you can see this value 200 after 200 it stops so now let's create the decrease function also so like function increase we can go ahead and create the decrease function also inside this instead of zoom in we have to say zoom out again 20 milliseconds for that so we still have to create the zoom out function so just like zoom in we have to create zoom out also so i'm just gonna copy paste this entire zoom in and just replace it with the name of zoom out but here we have to check for the width being greater than 100 okay so if the width is greater than 100 we have to bring it back to 100 right instead of zooming in and zoom out you can say expand and shrink you know this makes more sense and it is more readable so here i'm going to change zoom into expand and here zoom out to shrink okay so in shrinking we have to reduce the size so we have to check if the width is greater than 100 we have to bring it back to 100 right so i'm going to say width is equal to width minus the difference and set this width to that image using the document dot get element by id and we'll also log it in the console so let's see if this works so I'm going to hover on it. It increases to 200. I'm going to remove the mouse from the image now. And you can see it goes back to 100. So our basic animation is done. But there is an issue over here. Which we still haven't figured out. I'm, I'm going to show it to you. If I hover it. And before increasing to its full size. If I remove the mouse. So let me just show you. If I do this. And if I just remove it. You can see it becomes a little weird. It, it keeps on pulsating. And that is because. The set interval has been set. The timer has been set. But clear interval did not get called. So just notice in the code the clear interval is only called when the width reaches 200 but in this case what i did is i did not let it reach 200 right so that's why the timer was still kept on and that's why this image is increasing and shrink shrinking every time because both these intervals are being set that is both expand and shrink is being called now because both on mouse over and on mouse out were called and before we actually could clear the interval we never reach this stage right we never reach the else part because the width never increased or never reached 200 so that's why we have to use this clear interval at this stage also that is before we actually call the set interval okay so this will resolve that issue so now if i hover it and remove it you can see it is happening properly now i can increase and decrease the speed i can say 10 milliseconds 10 milliseconds if i hover it it will happen a little faster and this is how you can create that smooth heartbeat animation on hover and when you move out of that image. Okay, so that's it for this video guys. I hope you got this cool animation of scaling. And in this way you can use plain JavaScript to perform basic animations. So in the previous video we saw fade in and fade out. Here we saw basic scaling. But you can see that we have to write a lot of code to perform these basic animations. And when you move to jQuery, these animations can be written in one line of code. And you'll see how we do that when we move ahead to basics of jQuery also as we move along in this series. And yeah, that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do let me know in the comments how this video was. Share it with your friends. And see you guys in the next video. Peace.